Greetings! Silly hat! Yes. It is a silly hat. Yes. You know the drill. Silly hat. Things. You have failed me, Mickey. You have failed me. So, let's go over some things. Uh, first of all, yeah. Um, found that. It does work. I have two of the gems, so blue and green. I genuinely have no fucking clue what particular Z moves they actually are for or what element they are. Um, I never played Sun and Moon, and personally, I actually don't like Z moves. Um, I don't like Mega Evolution because it's not an evolution, it's a form change. There's a difference, along with the fact Digimon did it first, and far better. <laughs> I don't like Z-moves, and I can't stand Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing. I hate those. So, yeah, I, I genuinely do hate them. But, got this from the charity shop a while back. Never made a video on it, but got two of the gems, it does work, and I know where I can probably get three more of the gems, but I love that it fits me. Though I can't use the elastic, but it fits. Um, I don't know how to actually use this correctly, so I don't know if it's meant to make any other noises than the initial sounds. Um, I will have to watch Shuken Shinobi's review of it and uh, KRX50's review of it. It's just that neat little thing. I wanted it, I can use it as a prop, and I just love how, technically speaking, it can hold six of the gems so yeah so if you get three of these you can technically hold all of the gems with a few slots left over so that's actually quite decent um continuing the pokemon theme i have a load of these it's just that I've gotten almost all of them. So I've got orange, the red, four of the blue ones, brown one, and yellow. Um, I have absolutely no idea how many of these there are. And as far as I know, I just need to get the green one. It's just, I've been seeing them in charity shops, and my mum sees them, we pick them up, and the funny part is, they are just a little bit bigger uh, diameter-wise than a yokai medal. So I'm thinking, if done correctly, I could modify the inside hold parts to hold a yokai medal and then shoot it out. Or I could even try and maybe retrofit the electronics into one of these. <laughs> and that would give me an eject function. <laughs> I, I, I could do that if I wanted to. I've got um, 
two spare Yoko watches, I could uh, do that. But yeah. Um, red is Pikachu, orange is Alolan Meowth, blue is Onyx, yellow is Gengar, no, Ghastly. And brown, funnily enough, is Alolan Sandshrew. You know, it's kind of funny for an island paradise to have an ice type. That is a little bit weird. Just, just a little bit. But, yeah. Um, recently gotten two Disney Infinity figures. Which are under here somewhere. Yeah, they're under there somewhere. But... <clears throat> big thing that I've gotten recently... Is this. Which... Yeah. Those of you who know me... Will know exactly what the fuck I'm going to be using this for. If you don't... Yeah. Base Stadium. Just that the Hasbro stadiums don't have a deep enough curve and they're not actually big enough. So something like this or a small satellite dish is the preferred stadium of choice. It just works more solidly. Just trying to find a satellite dish around here. Practically impossible. I've tried. I really have. Um, other than that, is that Jar Jar Binks? Yes. I have a little bust of Jar Jar. It's a Micro Machines playset. And you're expecting me to say no to that. You know, the funny part was, I got it. Partially because, yes, I like Jar Jar. But also because of a little bit of a joke. Um... One user on uh, the Omega Drome, the Discord group I'm part of, uh, they mentioned that they had an on-card Jar Jar Binks that they don't even like. They hate Jar Jar Binks, and yet they have a brand new figure of them. So I found that in the charity shop and thought, that would piss them off so much. <laughs> so, yeah. That'd be funny. Really funny. But, yeah, now on to the meat and potatoes of the situation. Those of you who know, the silly hat normally means something. Boxes. Boxes. So, um, let's go with the small one first. There's all the package information, so now... <sighs> Knife! You're probably wondering, what the fuck have I gotten this time? Well, it's not Biedemann, I know that much, I haven't bought any more Beat-a-man that I know of. 
My brain might have subconsciously bought some. I don't know. And no, that's that's not a tease. I genuinely don't think I have. Um. It's meant to be open from the other side. <sighs> Compact newspaper. Very useful stuff. That's exactly what I ordered. Oh, even more compact newspaper. Just what I ordered. Oh, a yellow shovel boy. Exactly what I ordered. With the claw weapon. <sighs> yes, um, taking into account that I bought the lot with the other three, it did not include either Yellow Boy here, Sledge, or Green Boy, Wide Load. So, um, I had to cave and spend 17 pounds just for this boy and that. Um, sadly the seller did not have wide load. If he had wide load I would have bought them together, but no. You're probably wondering... <clears throat> Why the fuck this matters? Well... Uh... <laughs> it's just, I've only recently found out Wide Load's name, and I just... I'm just trying to track one down. It's just, um... I was in talks with a guy in the UK who actually had this guy and wide load and a bunch of others of this. So we had two dust storms. Um, Captain Xavier, you may have the train going past. We have jets. Because there's an air base. That way. That way, there's an air base. So we have the American jets and the big buggers flying over top sometimes. So, yeah. It's just, um, as I was saying, I was in talks with a guy actually had sledge, wide load, two dust storms and two bone crushers that I was trying to purchase from him, but there was quite a bit of miscommunication going on. I was trying to be as clear as possible by saying that I wanted the, well, these guys, these figures, <coughs> but Sadly, they weren't willing to cooperate. It's just that originally we agreed that I could purchase the figures for £30 total. And, well, when I asked on whether or not I could purchase another figure alongside, he then said, 
no, he is not willing to do that, and I cannot buy the figures for £30 total, even though we'd already agreed upon it. So, there was some miscommunication there, along with the fact the individual took a very long time to actually respond to messages, and I don't particularly think that they were in any desire to even sell the figures to begin with. It's just, they had a Rodimus Unicronus that they had for 31, and I was hoping to lower it down to 25, which that's reasonable. And taking into account, I'd already be buying about six of these guys. So, overall, that would still be about 50 quid. But, he didn't want to go along with that. It's just, there was some miscommunication. Because he also thought that I wanted a complete Energon Devastator when it was only the limbs I was asking for. I even said I only wanted the limbs. I didn't want the core torsos. It's just that this guy is a Transformers collector. So there wasn't any, oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. He knew exactly what they were. But, yeah. Now that I've got Sledge Boy, <sighs> uh, yeah. <laughs> At the moment, I've got the weird setup. So, pull Dust Storm off, and then put sledge in place. So that now gives me an almost complete Energon Devastator. One moment. Just need to remove that. looks rather decent. Um, you're probably wondering why the fuck he's got a jet for an arm. Well, that's because my Superion up there, there, well, his arm connectors are buggered, so took these guys off, and, well, these ones, specifically the stealth jets, um, their port is actually uh, buggered as well. It's not holding on to the port. So, yeah. It's just, taking into account, this guy's not complete, so I haven't got his face revealed. 
but once I've got the green crane wide load, uh, his noggin will be on display for all to see. And then I can try and do some fiddly things. But until then, that will have to go there. Now for this one. Which... With compliments, thank you for your purchase. Here at Omega One Prime, straight to engine the best service my kind of questions original how small do I take? It's quite decent of the guy. Hmm. Omega One Primes. Hmm. Quite decent of him to actually include a note and uh, pretty decently done. <clears throat> You're probably wondering what the fuck I've got this time. Well, it's bubble wrap. <laughs> Come on, I have to pull that joke. It's more bubble wrap. And more bubble wrap. There, that's it. That's, that's all it is. No, it's actually this. <laughs> I have to be a goofball somehow, come on. Basically, I bought four more of the Superion limbs because, well, the guy wanted £24 for them and that's actually pretty decent. And taking into account, I think all four of the limbs for mine do need replacing. And, well, that's literally the only missing part aside from the clear pieces. But the thing is, the Warthog. doesn't actually need the clear part to form a leg. So, not a detriment. So, I can just put that to a custom. Now, <clears throat> what I really wanted to see was on whether or not My ones were buggered, or if it's all of them. Because as far as I know, it's only mine that are buggered. Mind you, none of these come with the uh, Energon Star. So, not a big issue. Not a big issue at all. Now, let's see if the connectors 
are any better. I see the arms are still fucking loose. On, on each one of these, I see they're always loose. Guess it's the fact that it's clear plastic. I don't know. Now... Come here, Debbie. Remove that one, because that one just comes off. Let's see. You any tighter. Whew. Yeah, that, that's tighter. That is definitely tighter. Okay, so yes, it definitely just was mine that were buggered. So, yeah, my two of this from my original set will have to go towards a custom, whereas these ones will now go towards the actual figure. And that now means I can give Devi a warthog for an arm. Don't ask. I don't fucking know why I do this stuff. It's just, yeah. But yeah, um, it's not bad so far. Really, not bad. I just need one more for this guy, so I just need the green crane. Uh, it'll take me a while to track one of those down. There's a few available, it's just not quite adequate. There's this one guy on Facebook who has one listed in a lot, but I'm not sure on whether or not he's still got it, so try and contact him for that. He wants a fiver for it. That's a very adequate price. The preferred price that you should be paying for Energon figures, £10 for the torso, £5 per limb. That is how much you should be paying for them. Now, in America, on eBay, yeah, they go for about that. Ten bucks for the torso, about three, five bucks for the individual bits. Over here, nope. Fifteen plus pounds. And that's before postage. Yeah. The only complete one of him, coming from the Netherlands... 50 quid. Yeah, nah. Not dealing with that. So I'm trying to bits one together. Now here's the, where the fudgy part comes in. Um, Energon Devastator is not my first choice. It was actually Classics Devastator. So the more full green and black version of that. Um... All the ones that I found were, well, too expensive. The one that I could have had, the guy wasn't willing to sell it to me. He wanted bids. I was offering him a full 30, instead he ended up selling it for only 11. Yeah. I offered him 30. Declined it each time. Well, actually, no, he didn't decline it, he just ignored it. Absolute pain in the fucking ass. It's just, I was willing to pay 30 for the whole lot. But no, and he ended up selling it for only 11. This is why I don't do bids, this is why I prefer making offers. This is the UK, we don't do bids, we do haggling. We prefer to haggle, negotiations... We like to have things clear-cut. But yeah, um... <sighs> Found a Classics Devastator. Reasonable price. About $40, so equals about 35 quid. Well, 38. I looked at it. 
I sent a message asking the guy on whether or not he could ship to the UK. And he asked me for the postcode, so sent him that. Didn't get a response for another day. But then eBay decided to send me an offer for that exact lot for £28. So about 30 quid, about 30 bucks. Now, I thought to myself, oh, does that include a postage? So I accepted it. And well, no, it did not include a postage. So essentially at the moment, I have an item that is in limbo that I have yet to even pay towards. It cannot be removed because apparently it classes me accepting that but not paying for it as being committed, even though the rules actually state that you have to actually pay for it to be committed. But it's just that there's no payment for the postage. So tried going to the help desk. They couldn't remove it because it was committed. Yeah, not paid for. Can't be committed if it's not paid for. So I had to contact the seller to ask on whether or not they could provide postage. They quoted me about $30, so 26 quid. Not too bad, so line up exactly with the payment. So overall I'd be paying about 50 quid. Not my preferred number, but to sort this whole debacle out, I will be trying to take this up with eBay. I really will. So, yeah, spoke with them earlier, well, spoke with them yesterday and earlier. Hopefully they can probably update the listing with the postage method so I can finish the transaction. So, yeah, if they can't do that, we'll have to talk about removing the listing and then re-putting it back up. If that works, I don't know. So, yeah. I might have a Classics Devastator on the way. This is one of those situations where I say, fuck you, eBay, this is your fault. Really, in all honesty, it is both mine and eBay's fault, because one, it was eBay's fault for giving me the offer, even though there wasn't a postage method. So that's a strike on eBay's term. But then there's also a bit against me for accepting it, thinking there was postage. But it's the fact that I was given an offer for it that made me think that there should have been postage with it. Because you really shouldn't be giving an offer when there's no postage method. So that is a slide against eBay itself. So if I can, I will be trying to take that up with them saying... You shouldn't be making offers for people when there's no postage. But see how that goes. Hopefully in the next day or two we can get it sorted and next week I might have a Classics Devastator. Maybe. But yeah. I'm still going to be trying to get the green crane just so I can have it complete. I've got it. I may as well try and get the green crane just to complete it. Then I'll have two Devastators. <laughs> Uh, that'll be funny. That'll be funny. But yeah, um, this also brings me to the fact that I now have income. I am working up at the recycling centre with my dad, so uh, roughly 200 quid a week. Not too bad. Hopefully I can keep that as a steady stream, save it up and use it sparingly. I am trying to use it sparingly at the moment, but things are just becoming more expensive when they shouldn't be. So, yeah. But at the moment I'm trying to keep spending to a minimum, unless it is something I actually really do desire. So yeah. Other than that, nothing too serious. Um, might have a new 3D model to show off on DA and maybe some comparisons. I might be able to actually finish off another model, I'm not sure. 
and try putting together another. I'm really not sure. I've, I've been doing a bit of hunting lately and I've found some nice specimens, as it were. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I hope that is an okay enough ramblings. And I wish you all a pleasant evening because my brain stopped working. Bye-bye!